Uh, bantamweight bout, Rob Font coming in at minus 145 against the bantamweight debuter, Davison Figueredo, sitting at plus 115, over under one and a half rounds, minus 300 for the over, plus 225 for the under. Davison Figueredo, 35 years old, making the move up to bantamweight. Uh, he did a lot of great work at flyweight. This will be his first fight against someone not named Brandon Moreno since November of 2020. He had that quadrilogy against Brandon Moreno where he went one, two, and one. Uh, and he, he said, I'm done with that. We all know that he, he kind of kills himself to get down to 125. You see the pictures and the videos of him doing that, and you're like, yeah, this guy should probably be a 135-er, but more likely a 130-er because I think at 135 he's going to be a little bit undersized. Rob Font, you see they're three inches taller, three and a half inches in reach. Uh, Rob Font, known for his boxing. He's kind of been up and down. Uh, he's been in the rankings for a while, but he's two and three in his last five. Coming off the uh, disappointing loss to Corey Sandigan, where he was just on his back the entire fight. But before that big knockout win against Adrian Yanez in the first round, um, and that was a good bounce back for him, not falling out of the rankings, or at least you know not falling out of the top ten. So... This is a good fight. I love this fight. I'm interested to see how Figgy does at 135. Um, what are you thinking on this one? Yeah, I'm interested to see the game plan for Figgy coming into this one because if you stand and bang with Rob Font, like Rob is one of the more technical boxers in the UFC. He holds some power. Um, he's tough on the feet too. It's not like you're going to go out there and spark Rob Font. Like If you get into a, a three-round war with Rob Font that is strictly at striking range, like you, it's going to be tough to beat him. Um, so that makes me concerned that, you know, if Figgy comes out here and can't get the takedown or doesn't even try and just stands and bangs with him, like, I don't know how well he's going to fare at 135. Like, those guys hold a little bit more power. Uh, it's not like, I don't think there's going to be a massive speed advantage for Figgy here either. You know, at, at um, um, uh, God damn it, at 125, he was, he wasn't like blindingly fast. He's just a very methodical and, and smooth striker. So, I don't think the speed's going to be a, a big factor in this fight. Um, but for Rob Font, like I look at the guys he's fought and who he's been taken down by. It's Ricky Simone, Marlon Marias a couple times, and Cody Garbrandt, and obviously Corey Sandhagen. Um, but other than that, you know, when guys stand with him, uh, he seems to have success, or at least he can rack up a lot of numbers on you. And some similarities I see with him and Brandon Moreno are their technical boxing. And when Devison tried to stand in, and do that with Moreno, like he he failed a couple of times. And I think all but one fight, Moreno was able to outstrike him and outland him pretty comfortably. And uh, even, you know, finished him on the feet at one point with the body kick and just looked really good. So, um, yeah, I got to go with Rob Font here. You know, I'd love to see Figgy go up and have some success at 135. But stylistically, you can't get Rob Font down. I don't think he's going to beat him on the feet here. You know, Figgy's not this young you know, I wouldn't even say he's in his prime anymore. I'd say he might be a step past his prime from what we've seen in the last couple of fights. So, um, yeah, yeah, give me give me Rob Font here. And, uh, you know, if Figgy can get the takedowns, might be a little different story, a little closer. But I think it plays out on the feet, and I think Rob Font gets it done. Yeah, I'm just having a tough way of, like, finding a path to victory for, for Figueredo. I'd say the best path to victory for him was would be for him to uh, find a submission, which I just don't know if that's going to happen. Like, it's... It seems like a long shot for Figueredo. Like what he does at 125 is he just kind of waits to explode. He's not the the highest volume striker on the feet, but he just wait, wait, find his opening, hit you with a big shot, and it'd be more impactful than you know the other five to ten that Brandon Moreno's throwing at him. So this one, it seems like Rob Font all day. Uh, but one thing to keep an eye on. Rob Font has only been finished one time in his entire career. It was by submission. He's never been knocked out. But that one submission loss was a guillotine choke to Pedro Munoz back in 2017. And uh, if you look at Davison Figueredo, he's got a good amount of submissions on his record, and he's got a damn good guillotine. Uh, he's gotten that a couple times, once against Alex Perez, uh, Tim Elliott. So, I mean, something to keep an eye on there. I don't think Rob Font's going to be shooting takedowns, but you never know when they're in a clinch. And Figgy could try to lock something up. Um, but I think this is probably Rob Font all day. I mean, he's got good cardio too. Three round fight. Um, doesn't, I mean, you don't need like a big load of cardio to get through a three round fight. But I think the pace 
and just the jab and uh, that that he sets the pace that he sets early should be able to uh, overcome Figueroa. I think he gets the win. Font will be the pick.